All right, Shalom. First off, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakaq Kadash. We're going to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And it's just say Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay. Um, try to with this lesson. Okay. Um, selfishness is the root of all evil work. Okay, there is no room for selfishness um, in this this truth or brotherhood. Okay, the word selfish. Okay, is uh of a person, action, or motive lacking consideration for others, concerned chiefly with one's own profit. I mean, personal profit or pleasure. Okay. Now, uh, let me get this scripture in um, James 3 and 1, or uh, 3 and 16. For where envy and strife is, right, and a lot of this uh, envy, okay, let's go into this word envy, excitement of mind, our door, fervent of spirit, okay, First off, I've got to play the Greek. Strong's G2205. Zelos. Zelos. Okay, it says, um, zeal, ardor, em embracing, pursuing, defending anything. Okay, right here, this is the point. An envious and contentious rivalry or jealousy. Okay. State of being jealous, or that's what jealous says. Okay, a feeling of discontented or resentful longing aroused by someone else's possessions, qualities, or luck. Okay, so you more so are going to feel a certain type of way. You're going to envy somebody because they're you don't want them to do good, or you want what they have. Okay, and that's personally. From off of what you want. Okay. Because you're not doing what you're supposed to do. Okay. Like for example. When somebody goes and um, robs somebody. They're robbing somebody because. Um, they themselves don't have what that other person has. Okay. So they're going to go to the extent of. Uh, doing something uh, wicked in order to, to, to get what that person has. Okay, it says, for where envy and strife is, okay, the word strife. Strong's G, 2052, Erythia. Erythia. Okay, it says, electioneering and intriguing for office. Apparently in the New Testament, according this distinction a desire to put oneself forward, a partisan and fractious spirit which does not disdain low arts. Okay, so a person that is has has strife. Okay, they're not they 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 are willing to to go to 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 low levels. Okay, in order to to accomplish what that what they want to achieve. Okay, it says the same word was found before uh, NT times only as an Aristotle. Okay, and it says where the notes a self seeking pursuit of political office by unfair means. Okay, a self seeking. Okay, Paul exhorts the church to be and want to be one. In the mind of Yahweh Shah, not putting self forward or being selfish. Okay. Um, it says speaks against having self selfless. James three and fourteen speaks against having selflessness or selfishness and self promoting in your heart. Okay. Which is your mind. Okay. People wanting to 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 go to low levels to achieve what they want. Okay, it says, for where envy and strife is, okay, self-seeking or only worried about yourself, there is confusion 
and every evil work. Okay? Every evil work, it all stems from people being selfish. Okay? Your selfishness is not righteousness. Okay? It's Philippians 2 and 3. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory. Okay? And that is envying and strife. Okay? Let nothing be done through selfishness. Okay? And one thing too that uh, people have to realize is that this truth is not a, 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 a competition of competing with your, your brothers. Okay? It's not going to be no, uh, you know, musical uh, chairs where, um, you know, you, you, you dancing around some chairs and then once that music stops, everybody fighting to get get that chair. Okay, on them chariots. The chariots is not going to be no musical chairs. Okay? If if you're a man of the Lord, the, you got a chair up there waiting for you. Okay? On them, on them chariots. It's, it's, not, it's not no, you got to bump a brother out the way in order to get to that chair. Okay? It says, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other, I mean, let each esteem other better than themselves. So you, you're not supposed to be selfish. You're supposed to be looking on another man. Or as the scriptures say, look not every man on his own things. Don't be looking like, oh, you know, I did, I I, I, I got these uh, good precepts and stuff. Because this truth ain't, ain't ours. Okay? This, this It is our truth. Okay? But this is not something that you come into this truth. And you you feel as though that you are, you are the one who, who woke yourself up. Okay? Like, for example, that's one of the reasons why we uh, give double honors to the apostles. Because the apostles, uh, they've been doing this work for, for a long time. Okay? And through their means of being unselfish, okay, they we got this truth. Okay? Because they wasn't selfish. Like a lot of other people... That gave up on this um on this work work okay and they went back into their to the world for their own selfish deeds okay so it says not look not every man on his own things but every man also on the things of others okay so we supposed to esteem each other better than ourselves this truth is not about oh I'm um I'm a great speaker you know other brothers are are are, are good too. You know, or I've been in this truth for a long time. It's not going to just be one man on them chariots, okay? Them chariots are going to be unselfish brothers, okay? Uh, for 2 Timothy 3 and 2. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. <laughs> you love your own self. When you're selfish, you only got you only care about your desires, okay? This is the la in the last days, um, what our men are going to be. Okay, so like you give me a quick second. <laughs> All right, it says, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous. Okay, let me get, get some of the meat off of this. Okay. Strong's G, 5366. Philarguros. Philarguros. Okay. And it says, uh, love, love, loving money or avarice. Okay. Now, the word avarice is extreme greed for wealth or material gain. Because a person has something that you want. So, guess what? You're going you're gonna to go to the level of getting that or trying to get that okay and this money is is garbage any goddamn way it says uh bolsters right oh i did this and i did that you ain't do a goddamn on thing you know it says an empty pretender okay a braggart okay the Lord can take everything that you 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 did and, and and wipe it all out, man. Okay, it says proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful. That goes into being uh, selfish. 
okay? Because you got this truth, and you 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 don't um you're not thinking the people that that um you got the truth from, you, but you got it from Yah by Shem Yosah, but through the act of other brothers being unselfish, okay? So you got to be thankful for this truth. You got it's hard to to even get a thank thank you from from people, man. Because they they proud, unholy, unset apart, okay, without natural affection, okay, that goes into charity, okay. Truce breakers, people that only have their own um their own agenda, what they want to accomplish, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, and these are the things that Esau does okay so these these things don't have no room in the truth man okay it says traitors heady high-minded lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God and and a man who who loves pleasures more than he loves the Lord himself that's an extremely selfish man you know because the, the the Lord, if especially if the Lord gave you this truth, you're supposed to put this this truth to, to good use, and 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 do videos. Okay, that's a so, sign of selflessness. Okay, because you can do whatever you want on your time. Okay, but when you take the time out to do a video for another brother, that's an act of unselfishness. Okay, it says having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof okay so you got this 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 form of godliness you know you're Israelite but you're not living at, uh, 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 or giving all praises honor and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahshah and that's why I said from such turn away okay now I'm gonna get this and I'm gonna close out the lesson uh, Romans 15 and 1 we then that are strong ought to bear the infirmities of the weak and not to please ourselves. Okay? So you might have a brother that's strong, stronger in the faith than the next brother. You ain't supposed to be, uh, you know, beating that brother down. Okay? Because that brother may be strong in an area that you're not strong in. Okay? You ain't supposed to be just trying to achieve your own uh, uh, goal. It says, let everyone... Of us please his neighbor for his, for his good to edification. Okay? Spiritual up uplifting. Okay? If you know if you um if you're strong, like for example, and um in the area of like let's say uh knowing the herbs, okay, then you can tell the brother, you know, certain herbs to, to, to go to. Okay? Rather than just learning all the knowledge for herbs only for yourself, if you know, for example, a, 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 a job that is hiring and you just worried about your own self when you know that another brother may need that help or, or whatever, you know, you, and you don't tell that brother, then guess what? That's selfishness, man. It says, for even Yahweh Shah please not himself, but as it is written, the reproaches of them that reproached you fell on me. Okay, so Yahweh Shai, if Yahweh Shai was, was, was selfish, he wouldn't even have died for us. So we wouldn't have this truth. Okay, so being, being selfless or selfish, okay, has no, no room in this truth. Okay, it's all evil works and unrighteousness behind being selfish. Cain, why did, why did Cain kill kill uh, Abel because he was selfish okay the so-called white man why why do they go into these other countries and um you know set up their democracy because they're selfish they don't care about what somebody else does okay it's only about their agenda and that's why the the selfishness is is wicked and it's not uh, a part of this truth, okay? So with that, you know, I want to say Solomon.